hi y'all it's Kimberly here thank you for coming to my channel I know it's been a few days but oh my gosh I'm so tired and job is just killing me but gotta get that overtime and um well, I was off last night so I slept like part of the day and then I slept all last night till about 5 30 this morning my dog woke me up he was hungry he wanted to be fed when you have a pit bull, you feed them when they want. <laughs> I just, I think I slept through his supper. I think I, I fell asleep. I don't remember feeding him. Because he likes to eat sometimes at night. Sometimes he won't eat unless he's, I, if I'm sitting right there, I have to be like within a couple of inches from him and I'll give him his food. And then he'll lay down and he'll, and he'll eat. But he's, I don't know, he's just a very strange dog. But. He woke me up that early and wanted to eat, so I had to feed him like three bowls of food. And so, <clears throat> and it's been like a hundred degrees or something like the past few days. And um, today it's really nice. It was kind of windy and cool, but it's really nice. And um, I'm fixing to do my dog show podcast next. And I forgot what I was gonna. <laughs> I had something, some subject picked out, but I can't remember. I was thinking of it like last night right before I went to bed and it was, I thought it was a really good subject. Oh, <sighs> if I remember, I'm going to edit it into this video and then, oh, dang it, I hate it when I do that. <laughs> oh, well, I don't remember what it was, but, oh, guess what I found? Um... Well, these people are having a yard sale over here. I was watching it. And I went to a yard sale the other day. I'm going to go to this one next when I leave here. But I was at a yard sale and I bought some, I bought a hoodie, like an Under Armour hoodie for like 50 cents and some, I think a backpack, a really nice backpack, Under Armour backpack. And I got this thing. Oh my God, it's heavy. I have glass wrists. I have glass ankles and glass wrists. They like <laughs> to be careful. But I got this. It is a. I can't believe I got this. I got it for two dollars. It's poker chips. It's got the chips. It's got some cards. And the dealer and blind chips. Oh. But it's got the case. Padded foam case, all the chips and everything, for two dollars. I can't freaking believe that. And I had looked at them before, like online, and I found some like thirty and fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. These nice poker chip cases, and um, I don't play poker now, but I did when I was younger. Actually, I can't even remember how. Ugh, I'm really bad at remembering stuff, but I used to play poker like I was really young. I was like a teenager. I was, 19, 18, 19, 20 years old. I would play with some friends and um, we would uh, we'd play every once in a while and I don't, I think I only did it for like a few years and then kind of, oh I don't know, our friend circle just changed and you know kind of, it just faded away you know and I really haven't paid, played poker since then. Um, I just don't really remember it but uh, I bought it just in case, in case if I ever decide to do it again or have to relearn it again because I don't remember any of it hardly. I don't. I was trying to think like, how do you even start the game? I can't even remember. I mean, I, sometimes my memory just, I can't remember stuff. I, I can remember something from when I was like eight or maybe not eight months. I was probably about 10 or so months old. And I have very clear, vivid memories of, you know, being on the beach in Louisiana when I, when I was a baby when we lived there and other little things I can remember, but I can't remember certain things. Ugh, it drives me nuts, but, well, <clears throat> maybe I can, I don't know, I might check into... I think that thing would weigh so much. I don't know. I might 
refresh my memory. I'm going to study up on how to play poker again. It was really fun. I loved it. I was like mediocre, but I didn't play it seriously. And it was just with friends and I didn't really take it too serious. And, um, I was at Walmart the other day. Every time I go to Walmart, there's some weird thing that happens. I get the cashier that's in a bad mood or something happens to me. And I was in the men's department. And I, I buy my shorts from the men's department. I buy sometimes my t-shirts and shorts. Sometimes they just have the style or the way I want them. And the men's basketball shorts, I buy the small size men's basketball shorts. Because I don't wear booty shorts. I've done that since I was like 12 or 15 or whatever. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable <laughs> walking in booty shorts like everybody else does. And other women who do it, fine. Good, good, fine. Wear what you want because I, I do not judge people for, you know, their own style. Be individual. That's one thing. Very individual. Be who you are. Be true to yourself. So me being true to myself, I go to the men's department, I buy my basketball shorts there. And they're a little bit long, they come, I like them come just a few inches before the knee. They're really comfortable, and that's just, the, those Those are the shorts that I wear. I have one pair of like ladies Levi shorts that are kind of baggy, they're oversized, and I put a belt around them, I wear those. But all my other basketball shorts, I mean all my other shorts are basketball shorts from the men's department, usually. If I find a women's pair that is long enough or that I like the color or style then I'll buy them but just for the comfort and um, the way they fit then I buy the men's I was over there checking the size I had it up you know trying it you know see if it, you know what it would look like how long they were and I don't like the really really long ones I don't like them going over my knee because I have short legs so sometimes I have to kind of check them to see make sure they don't I don't want them to be super long. I just want them right above my knee. I was over there and I was like, actually, I already had bought one pair of that same kind that was, I think they were blue or either black. I can't remember. I was looking at both these dark blue and then these black ones and I was trying to remember which one I had already bought and I was going to buy the opposite. And uh, this lady walked up to me and she like kind of whispered over to me like I can't really remember the way that she said it it threw me off it's unladylike to wear those are men's shorts and it's unladylike to wear she said something to that oh I can remember exactly but when people do that it kind of like it kind of shocks me at first it throws me off and I like, I have to process it for a second. And I can't believe she said, she just walked up to me out of the blue and said that to me. Number one, she don't know if it, if I was buying it for somebody else, maybe my son or my husband or boyfriend or brother, or it could have been for anybody. I mean, I know I was putting them up to my, you know, my hips and sizing them out, but you know, I could have been buying them from anybody, for anybody. And the way she looked at me after she said that was like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Just and the thing that went through my mind was, first off, how do you have the audacity to come up to me and give me your opinion? You don't know who I am. You don't know who I'm buying them for. And she had to walk like about 15 or 20 feet up to me because she was across the aisle. Her buggy was parked across the aisle there. And I was kind of like, five or ten feet inside the men's department and I just turned around and I told her if I want your opinion I will give you your opinion <laughs> if I want your opinion I will give you give it to you I said something like that I was so thrown off by what she said I just I why would you go and tell somebody something your opinion of something so unimportant to somebody you don't know in a public place that just blows my mind when people do that and I've had people come up to me and say just little quips like that to me before I mean it just kind of boggles my mind when people do that and 
I always have this um, this school of thought. I think they do that to me because of my small size or stature, and I'm female, and I think they just feel like it's going to be a non-fight or not confrontational or anything like that, or like I'm meek or I won't say anything back, but that's exactly what I meant. You don't know who I am, and I'm probably going to hurt your feelings if you do it. Because I don't give a crap what anybody's personal opinion is about me. I really don't. That's one thing on this channel. If I mean, you can say what you want about me. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> if it's not a really bad comment, I probably won't delete it. But if it has vulgarity or something like that, just really rude, I, I will delete it. But people's difference of opinion I don't mind but when you criticize somebody for their personal style or come up and try to tell them you know how to dress or how they should be uh, that's happened to me several times and when she did it I was just like oh, god I, I had so much I had to bite my tongue just to be nice because it was kind of quiet and there you know there was some ladies with their kids and stuff like that and I was like I kind of like kind of looked around a little bit and I was like well I can't say really what I want to say so I'm going to say this instead <laughs> and I don't know how people I would never think to do that if I saw one of you guys or anybody else you know picking out clothes or doing something you know if there was some guy in the women's department I wouldn't go up and say something to him I wouldn't care you know I mean each person has their own individual style and own way and I am a tomboy mostly I wear hats t-shirts shorts and teen shoes or boots and jeans you know um, I do dress like that but I do wear skirts and dresses every once in a while to weddings or funerals or I suppose if I didn't have to work I would probably wear more skirts I actually do like wearing skirts and dresses every once in a while just like summer summer dresses or whatever I don't know but I don't know what she was implying that she that I shouldn't wear that I should be more feminine that I'm not feminine enough for her opinion or whatever or if I don't know what when I mean it was just such a weird incident and it really kind of made me mad, you know, that she, I mean, I couldn't understand. Why would you just go up and give your opinion to a total stranger you don't know? I don't know. Ah, just kind of, <clears throat> okay, uh, that's my, uh, little rant video or whatever you want to call this. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. Have a good day.